There it is. You get it? Oh, big red. Got him. All right, here we go. There's a big old beauty. I'm just gonna keep the bokeh on her here. That's a good 19 right at it. There's one. Yeah, good flounder. There's a nice little flat girl. Perfect pan size. All right, what's going on guys? So we're back out on the Key West again today with a game plan of targeting tarpon first thing this morning. So we grabbed all of our big rods, all of our inshore rods, and we basically set out into an area where these fish have been known to frequent. And we set up with a nice little three rod spread. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get any of the tarpon come through. So just kind of scratched it up as a loss and turned to some inshore fishing. Now you guys, I had a little backup plan in my back pocket and I'm glad I was able to pull that out because it actually turned out to be a great day once we left those tarpon grounds. So that's exactly where we're gonna pick up in today's footage. And as always, thanks for the support. Dang. There he is. You get it? Oh, big trout. Oh, big red. Yeah, nice red. There we go. Stay button, girl. Yeah, top of the slot red there. She was with that ball of bait. I threw right on that ball of bait. Got him. Thanks, buddy. I'll just take her. She's she's not happy. Actually, she might uh, honestly be over slot. It's a good red to start the day right there. Can't complain. All right, guys. We're going to start this video off by tagging this pretty girl. She's probably every bit of 24. I'll pop that tag in. There's one, there's two, there's three. All right, here we go. There's a big old beauty. I'm just gonna keep the bokeh on her here. Got her tagged up, gorgeous. Let's grab a little measurement real quick and then we'll get her back. I don't wanna keep her out of water that long. So tail pinched out, 25 and a half. All right, I'll drop her back in real quick. Come on. There she goes. All right, not a bad fish to start the day. I'll show you guys the setup I'm starting off with this morning, but this is my uh, brand new TFO Professional. It's a medium light, seven foot stick. Uh, it's nice, fast action tip. And uh, it, handles, it handles fish really well. It's not overly powerful, but it gives a really nice uh, bend. It's got great parabolic flex, which is perfect for throwing top water. And uh, man, this rod is, is honestly one of my new favorite rods. Now, as far as the reel goes, this is a Shimano Corrado. It's a 201K. Uh, it's just basically a left-handed uh, Shimano bait caster. I really love these things. You guys have switched over to uh, fishing bait casters more about uh, two months ago. And uh, I'm about ready to give up all my spinning gear and go all bait casters. It's just uh, that much of an addiction for me at this point. Now, the lure I'm using is a Rapala Skitter V. This is a pink one. If you guys saw it, I uh, bought this thing at River Supply probably about four months ago. And this is honestly the first time I pulled it out and uh, successfully used it. So like I mentioned before, we're just out here kind of fishing around the sound, some moisture beds and some grasses out here. We're going to change gears here uh, pretty soon. But uh, it's just nice just to get on a, a good early morning topwater bite. I got something busting bait way back here. I don't know if I can make that cast. That's about as far as I can go. I had a huge trout blow up right here just as soon as we pulled up. It was like a shotgun going off. She was over 20 inches. And I'd like to get her to eat again. <laughs> i got to wait for the wave to come up so I can work over this grass right here. 
So with this bait, you guys, I'm just basically walking it on the surface. It's zigzagging left and right. Just basically hold my rod tip down and I'm popping it just like this. It's all right here in the wrist. Just pop, 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 pop. And she's walking left, right, left, right. And I'll do a cadence of about 10 walks and then I'll stop, give it a second. And then I'll go right back to walking again. And historically those fish will hit it on the pause. That's pretty much their opportunity to strike once they see that thing stop moving. Uh, so definitely make sure you're working your pauses in with your topwater baits. Oh, there's one. Get it. Oh, that's another redfish. That's another redfish. There she is. Get it. <laughs> Get it. Come on. You can do it. Duh. <laughs> you clumsy fish. Go ahead, throw in there. See if you can get her. So with these redfish, you guys, when they go up to eat, their jaw is underslung. So they're not naturally good at eating from the bottom ambushing up. They're good at eating up down, right? That's why they just kind of root around. That's why you want to fish on the bottom if you're targeting redfish. So when these redfish come up to eat, they almost have to turn sideways. If you can imagine a whole fish just kind of doing this and then trying to come up and eat, that's, that's what they're doing. There she is. You get her? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. I knew she couldn't say no to that mullet. No, nope, Z-Man. Oh, Z-Man? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got the shrimps? Yep. Got them on there? All right, dude, I got the net. Let's go. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to use a, uh, a half of an orange juice carton today, guys. We actually got a real, a real net. Man, that was a good, that was a good challenge. That was. That was a good, that was a good switch. Yeah, man. yeah, buddy. There we go. Beautiful redfish. <laughs> Is that a, like a Texas Texas rig circle hook setup? <laughs> yeah, so I do those little uh, bullet weights. Yeah. And I let them sit on top of a tail hook. It's perfect. It looks. Because the shrimp, because the shrimp, any of the Z-Man stuff's gonna float it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I do is I use these little bullet weights. Uh -huh. And what it does is you can't see it here, but it sits right on top of that hook. Yeah. She's she's got, got it down it. there on her tongue. I got it. Yep. Yeah. See, it's perfect, and then it just sits right in there. It's just a kale hook. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it sits perfect. I'll knock it till you try it, baby. That's right. Nice fish, buddy. That's a good 19 right at it. Yeah, let's see. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I just got the eyes, man. I've caught a couple. Sweet! Putting on a flounder clinic again? <laughs> this guy's on number three right now. There's one. Yeah, I smell, feel like a small flounder. Unless she's just not woke up yet. She's coming in fast. Yeah, good flounder. Are you wanting to keep fish? Um, that is a good one. She choked that voodoo down. Choked it. You're gonna need to open up, baby, because I don't have pliers. That's a long way to the boat. I know. It was a rookie mistake. Okay, there it is. It's in her tongue. I got it here. All right, got it. There's a nice little flat girl. Yeah, we'll let her go back. That's actually, uh, that's probably 15 inches there. Got some decent weight. Perfect pan size. But 
we decided to let her live. <laughs> 